Uh, who cares? Give up! Never! Woo! <sighs> Why do you like this? It's like you're some kind of determined. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, well, hey. Well, hey, you gotta admit, the shovel was a groundbreaking invention. Sons. Well, then, the broom really did swept us away. Sons. Well, and the wheel really got got the world turning. Sons. That Se is enough of your puns. Several bad puns <laughs> later. <laughs> Sons, please stop. Have a wonderful day. Give up or face my special attack. Yeah, boy! Don't. Use tweezers. I heard those are good for removing bones. <laughs> Put in... <sighs> now, what are all my options? <coughs> yeah, very soon I'll use that special attack. I'm not bluffing. Or am I? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ching, 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 ching. Not too long and I will use that special attack. I really do apologize if you can't see the text. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, so that's why we're going to read some of these. I'm well, all of these. For the record, I'm enjoying this. I am... wait. <laughs> this is your last chance before my special attack. Nope. Boop. No. Ah! Uh-uh, I am not losing. We ate one half of it. Behold, my special attack! Oh, it's a little doggy! What the heck? That's my special attack! I want... I want the bone! Hey, you stupid dog! You make me look bad. Ooga booga booga! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bird. Nerf. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with that special attack! Boom! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Yes, that will work very nicely. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Wee! 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 Oh frick! Whoa, 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 Dude! Pawn yourself! I can't. Sanders has my blood pressure up. Eee. Considering I don't have eee. blood. Cool, cool. Dude. dude. Is a skeleton? Is a bone with that? Would you like to see the size of my bone? Whee! Yes, Here. this is required. Here's the size of my bone. <laughs> <laughs> that must must be really hard. But um. Oh. Pfft. Take that. No, I'm running away. Take it. A bush Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Do. You do that and you'll have five bones up your butt at one time. <laughs> Trust me, if there's something like this and music stops, never do that. Yeah, ho, ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be so disappointed. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should we say? Let's be friends, or what a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You would? You want to be friends with me? Well then. Well, actually, I think you can see the text on screen when it's like this, but... In battle, not yeah, well, so much. Well, when the taste is white. I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. That, yes. That, it, sorry. It makes it easy because it's on a black background and it's using white text. Yes, I am adopting you now. Don't pay no attention to the goat prostitute. <laughs> Wowie, we haven't even had our date yet, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? Life lesson, folks! Yes, just shove bones up their butts and I'll enjoy it. You taught me a lot, human, and I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give the you directions to the service. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. 
That's the magical seal trapping us all on the ground. Anything you enter through it, but whatever, except it, someone with a powerful it, anything spell. Anything that enters through it cannot go out. Indeed. Or something like that. Sorry, I'm, I didn't mean to skip the text. Like you. Ooh. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. Ooh. He wants to open the barrier with the soul power. I just remembered something. What is that? But I'm not, but I'll, but I'll let him finish. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. Okay, the... Yes. But you continue. The king of all monsters. He is. <clears throat> well, he's a big fluffy pushover. Fuzzy. Whatever. Hey, okay, I want to try something. Um, I'm, I'm, might I take over for here for a bit? Of course. He's a big fatty pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have their day. <laughs> now to defy logic. You didn't know I could do that, did you? <laughs> Hi. Let's go on our little... Let's go visit Papyrus. That wasn't creepy at all. Uh, do you want to explain what this little thing is? Uh, let me explain. Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> let me explain something to all of you humans watching. This this shack, this dash defined shack. Oh, please don't enter the mysterious shack. If you do, the Illuminati will come after you. Okay. I did not know he would say that. I didn't either. I didn't even know I was hiding in there. Wait. You should learn of privacy. You should learn of privacy. Right. Anyways, if you fail to solve my puzzles and my fights, you will end up in this shack, which you will never have any chance of escape. Note to self, you can escape easily. But that is besides the point, humans. Um, you want to tell them what happens? You know what? You want to tell them? Just see, hey. Tell him have when you go in there again. He'll actually leave a note telling you, please don't leave. <laughs> and I think he puts a bed and gives you food. Yeah, basically you're his pet dog. It is my pet dog, indeed. Hold on, you want to see something funny? What? He just saw us move. I saw that. Sounds I heard something. I don't know what it was, but there was something underground. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Yes. It's at the strip club. I'm joking right now. I'm too young to see one. To go to one. It's okay. Let's not go to Toriel's house. Then we'll go back here. <laughs> My house. Uh, yeah. I'm bailing out. Psych. <sighs> well now, we're in his house. Yeah. But before we do get started, I like to make note of something here. No, it's not the boner on the wall. Wait, there's the boner? I oh, indeed. I'm gonna pretend he said, but this little room here. Remember it for later. Oh yeah, something very special happens in the other room. And it's something to do with sounds. You know how boys are. Oh, I, I meant to talk to him, but we'll go with it. It's a joke book. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book with the quantum physics books. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book with another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Okay. Oh, it's my favorite game, so... It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. Touch. Makes a jangling sound. Jing. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Moin! Little thief. <clears throat> it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sons, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. 
It's still here. Didn't you say? Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Bring it out to the kitchen. However, we're gonna head back out, then head back in, then head out, then head in, then out, and out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Ah. <laughs> there he goes. Wow, being a good host is a real workout. Yeah, if you do a certain now, he'll do it. Now then. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. <clears throat> My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. Um, now, I'm not sure... But remember the quiche. I'm just saying. How absurd. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Wow, I did not know that. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. And now the piece at a distance. Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. I'd rather not. But we will. Hey! Stop gnawing on my bone. Er. What? <laughs> Catch that middling canine. Curses. Sans? <laughs> Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Well, now that we've seen that, let's go into this room. That's my room. If you're finished looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they dare. <laughs> um, I think I need to... Call an adult. Yes. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, uh, where's my phone? I need to call Goat Mom. Oh, don't do that. She's in on it. She's the film <laughs> camera. She's the ah! cameraman. Go inside. Censored all. Oh. Think for a joke I should put censored? Yeah, I, I think I will. You didn't hear that! <laughs> That's my bed. Want to go in, go in, go on top of it? Mm -hmm. Wanna, wanna go for a ride? If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. Cast. So instead, I cruise while I snores. Yes, we all know he snores. Would you like to cruise with me, human? Hey, you didn't hear me? It's like, yes, we know how he snores. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. That's right, a pedophile. <laughs> Is his name Jerry or Herbert? Oh, yes. Jerry Herbert... Pedo? The third. Yes, that's right. Santa. <laughs> oh! Ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Insert the insert Zelda CDI King as Santa Claus. Oh, isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Do you? Why is this flag poisonous? Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. <clears throat> a game theory. Thanks for watching! Psych. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> you know what you do after I said that game theory? What's that? I'm gonna do what I did for when I before I ended Journey of Dreams Helen's episode twelve. 
Oh. Watch it, by the way. It's really good. Indeed. Um, I actually put a black, like a, you know, black wallpaper thing. Uh huh. That way, it just went to black, thinking the video has ended, when it really hasn't. Then it just shows back to my to the screen. I think I'll do it after I said thanks for watching. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. Gee, I thought you would have had to get a boner. That no, that's the book next to it. <laughs> the next book's another one about a peekaboo with fluffy bunny. <laughs> Don't think about that too hard. Peekaboo with furry bunny. The ending always gets me. In the bark. <laughs> There's no skeletons inside my closet. Are you gonna well, well, at least he's not gay. Except me sometimes. Maybe. You were saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clothes are hung, hung up or neatly inside. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I just... I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has beside me of my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. <laughs> Wait. The computer's internet browser is open up to a social media site. And also, bone porn. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, those are the battle attacks I used on you. See, that one still has some of your poop on it. <laughs> Wait, what? Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even there, it basically just happened. It's a box of bones. Hold on. I'm just curious. Action figures of many sexy robots. Oh, really? Uh, well, keep in mind one sexy robot, but that's still later. <laughs> it's a beat-up pirate. Yeah, pirate flag. <laughs> it's a beat-up pirate. What? Oh. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? That's a pun somewhere. Oh. <sighs> Complex manuals and children's book. In a Herbert book. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to stop the date? Begin the date? Yes. No. <clears throat> Let's begin the date. But, oh man, you know I forgot to bring? What's that? Flowers. Let me go back to the ruins. You got a derpy fire flower. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. Dating stopped. Dig, salt. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can spell prepared without seven letters. From my name, damn, did I just go through puberty. <laughs> I'm snagged in a official dating rulebook from the library. Um, don't you mean the library? Oh, of course. Jerks don't even know how to spell. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see here. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Oh. Well, it's Friday. And it's night time, man. Well, you can tell when, when I'm recording this. Wowee! <laughs> I feel so informed. Okay, we got the moon. A half moon. Um, we see a dog radar, for some unknown reason. Um, pop huh? population. The crime, crime looks normal. And, and there's egg. an egg. Eggman references. <laughs> I mean, I can just put a little mustache on there. <laughs> yep. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Whoa! Oh. Earthquakes. Ahem. Um, nope, that was not earthquakes. My friend accidentally hit the table. I'm sorry. It's alright. You guys don't have never seen me before. I'm a really freaking tall guy and he, I have long legs. He is, so. I mean, so as y'all already know I record with a 3DS. I'm about six foot six. I mean I'm really I tall. would I would really like to have a good capture card. Human, I am I have a great papyrus. Heck, I wonder how much it cost. Uh -huh. Well go on a date with you. Uh, really? Well, kawaii! Kawaii! I guess that means time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Hmm? 
Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of your... You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Ouch. No. You planned it all. Way better at dating than I am. No. You're dating. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will, considering I never dated before. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. This just turned into a Yu-Gi-Oh battle. Wow, I didn't notice that. In fact... Wait, I don't get it, honestly. It turned into a Yu-Gi-Oh battle, because it's like, when they draw a card and like... But you didn't see what I had. Oh, hidden. Well, damn, I haven't played. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in a while. Please forgive me. I mean, my brother and my cousin used to play it on a PS2. I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date that I have no idea how to do. Behold, corn. Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? No. A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. The date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Who's in the Z? Well, I can just go anywhere I want. Whoa! I understand why you're running away. You're overwhelmed by the sight of my cool vibes. But you cannot back down now. Okay, I thought I was just like, stop. Well, let's see. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of my shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Um, <laughs> I, I could expect this. There's no secret to my legs, wink wink. Just hard work and perseverance. <laughs> and a big bone. <laughs> My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you've found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Do you know what this is? Your brain? Spaghetti. Uh, better not let Mario see that. Indeed. Or else Papyrus will be gone. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? <clears throat> right. But, oh, so wrong. This ain't any old plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. This taste is incre indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <laughs> no! <sighs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything <clears throat> you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I, Papyrus, had just been broken in by a cat. <laughs> Get out. Yes, this pet cat just broke in. Sorry, <laughs> folks. We got to... I, um... Boy, it's hot in here. Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. I apologize for that. We have a little in we have a little intruder. Oh shoot. Hey! Come here, I hear the internet loves kitties. Human, I I am sorry. What, you don't I, want to be on the internet? I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean 
I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. I'm a dude. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I don't have standards. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I know. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of fashion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these tense times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. Good, because I'm not gay. After all, you are very great. I, it would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically, well, got to go. <laughs> and exit, and exit stage right. <laughs> Alrighty, with that taken care of. Pingus. Pingus. Hey audience, I need to hey everyone, I need to ask you something. You a better sugar. I have something to ask as well. Do you wanna build a snowman? That's do, that's do, kinda too late. Do you wanna stab me in the face? So my I it went green. Ha 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 ha. Sorry about that. Had a little accident. By that I mean I hit the wrong key. The Martians attacked. That's why everything went green. <laughs> yes. As Nigel, as my hero Nigel Thornberry once said, the, the Martians of land died. It was smashing. There were indeed. This, anyway, the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Well, with all that's taken care of, I guess we can call it here. Next time on Undertale, we, we see will see more than bones, and we will see more of spears up Frisk's poor tiny little. Never mind. Um, I don't, I don't remember naming that. You're right. Who is this Frisk? Dun dun dun. It's probably someone else. Yeah. Somebody else. We just made up that. We just made that name up. We heard of Frisk. Uh, Frisk was a douche. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time. See ya.